Hey there, welcome to this video on arc length. We are going to talk about how do we actually calculate the distance of an arc. Okay, and um, we're going to start out with a, a pretty basic formula at arc length, which is referred to as S. Okay, that's the variable that we assigned to it. In a circle of a radius R with a central angle of theta in radians, that's actually very important, I'm going to highlight that in green, is given by this formula, S equals R theta. S equals R theta. Very, very basic. Say it now, S equals R theta. S equals R theta. And you have to go ahead and, and write here, right, where theta is in radians. Theta is in radians. And again, if, if you're not used to this, right, that is theta, T-H, theta. Okay, so there you go, S equals R theta, we're done. I'm just kidding, we're not done, but uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, we have these problems here where they say, find the arc length S to the nearest tenth. Okay, so arc length, which is S, is equal to R times theta. Okay, so what we need to do, go ahead and do is we need to identify a couple of variables. Uh, I need to know what is the radius. Well, in this case, the radius is 2 feet. All right, no big deal. And then I need to go ahead and identify theta. Well, that is pi over 3. Okay, so I've identified those two values. So then that means that S is equal to 2 pi over three feet. That's it. And then we go ahead and use our calculator to approximate this, and this is 2.1 feet. Okay, so there you have it. That's it. Very simple, right? I told you it was easy. All right, here's the next example. Okay, find arc length s to the nearest tenth. So again, uh, our arc length s, okay, is equal to the radius times theta. So here's our radius, five inches, okay? And then here's our theta. Whoa, I want it to be green, 30 degrees. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Okay, this is equal to five inches, that's my radius, times theta. Okay, but note theta is in degrees. Theta is in degrees. All right, so we have to have theta in radians. I'm going to put an R up there, okay, for, for radians. R, theta, theta rad. So how do I go from degrees to radians? Well, you have to convert, right? So if I want this to be in radians, I'm going to go ahead and multiply by pi and divide by 180. Okay, so we get 30 pi over 180 which is equal after we reduce to pi over six. Okay, so that's theta. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in pi over six. All right, and therefore S is equal to five pi over six, right? And this is inches. Okay, which is approximately 2.6 inches. All right, cool, simple, right? So the only trick, the only curveball they're gonna give you, sorry, I got something stuck in my eye. It's like eyelash. You know when you're like losing an eyelash and it gets stuck in your eye? Got it, I got it, can you see? All right, um, so the only curveball they're gonna give you is they'll, they'll throw in uh, degrees and you have to convert, okay? Very simple. All right, here's a practice problem. Please go ahead and calculate the arc length here. All right, hopefully you've calculated it. Here is the solution, 14.1 meters. Make sure you round to the nearest tenth, like they say, and you include the units. All right, here is round two of a practice problem. Go for it. Okay, hope you pause the video. Here is the solution, 6.3 meters. Now, did you remember to take the 120, take it out of degrees, right, and convert to radians, which would be two pi thirds. Okay, all right, um, next, here we have, it says, find the arc length to the nearest tenth. So again, okay, that is S is equal to R, the radius, times theta, where theta is in degrees. 
So our radius is 12 yards. Okay, our theta is 70 degrees. So what I'm going to have to do right, right away is I'm going to have to take this theta, it's 70 degrees, and I have to convert to radians. So I go ahead and do this, and we get uh, 70 pi over 180, and we can reduce, I can just cancel a zero, we get 7 pi over 18. We can't reduce that. So there's our there's our theta. So then this becomes right 12 yards okay times theta which is 7 pi over 18. Okay, and we can calculate this. <clears throat> uh, before I can do this, I can reduce both of these by 3 or by yeah, by 3. So this is 4. This would be 6. I can reduce both by 6. What am I thinking? Sorry. Let me get... Reduce by 6. 2 and 3. Okay, so we get 14 pi over 3. Which is approximately... Oh, this is yards. 14.7... Uh, yards. That's the length of the arc. Okay, very, very simple, right? All right. Um, now, I guess here's another curveball that, that they'll do, which really isn't a curveball. It, it's kind of, I think, even easier. Um, S is equal, again, to R theta. Okay, so that's arc length is S. Now, I need to know, okay, what's my radius? And they tell us that the radius is equal to 9 meters. And then theta, what's theta? Well, they say it's 1.7 radians. And I know right now you're like, whoa, where's the pi? Is that radians? What do I do? There's no pi. It doesn't matter. There doesn't have to be a pi for, for it to be in radians, right? And if you wanted to, all these uh, angles, all these thetas with pi, you could actually calculate that, right? Because pi is approximately 3.14. So... Um, here they just tell us it's 1.7. So, I mean, I'm actually all about that because now I know it's 9 meters times 1.7. Okay, and then I can go ahead and just calculate this. So we get 15.3 meters. And that's it. Super simple. All right, here is a practice problem. Please pause the video. Go ahead and try this one. All right, did you see the degrees? Hope you caught it. Here is the solution. Okay, and then the next example. Please pause the video. Try this one. All right, hopefully uh, you're done now. This one was like really simple, right? Uh, I don't know about you. If you're done, I'm done. It's 2 times 6, right? It's 12. 12 is the answer. Very simple. Right. Okay. Um, in this example, they're going to switch it up on us. They say find angle theta to the nearest degree. Okay. So I remember that the formula is S is equal to R, which is radius times theta, and theta theta is in radians. Okay. Well, they tell us, hey, your uh, arc length is three miles, so I have three miles, okay, and my radius is five miles, equals five miles, and I don't have theta. That's what I want to solve for. I can go ahead. I can solve. I'll, I'll divide both sides by five. I don't know why it keeps erasing it. That's weird. Do you see that? Strange doesn't doesn't want me to write right there. Theta, theta. Some weird things are happening right now with my computer. I have no clue what's going on. Uh, theta is equal to three fifths, which if we reduce this, um, this is zero point six. Okay, and but note that this is in radians. So, what's the big deal? Is that my answer? Well, no. They say find angle theta to the nearest degree. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take zero point six radians radians 
and I want to convert to degrees. So I put 180 degrees on top, and I divide by pi radians. And you can go ahead and plug this into your, your calculator, right? 0 0.6 times, times 180 uh, divided by pi radians, and this is approximately 34 degrees, right? They want it to the, the nearest whole degree. So there's our answer. And that's weird. I have no clue what's going on with that. Okay, here is the next practice problem. Please go ahead and try this one. Again, remember, they want it in degrees. So when you find theta, that's going to be in radians. So you need to convert it. All right, hopefully you tried it. Here is the solution. And you should get 43 degrees. 43 degrees. If you're having issues with getting 43 degrees, check and see, did you plug in 3 fourths? You know that that's 0.75. Okay, or in your calculator, um, you need to make sure, right, that 3 times 180 in your numerator, that's blocked off, and then you divide by 4 pi. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and let's look at some context. Now that I know how to find arc length, let's um, apply it to something. When are, when are we ever going to use this or how is this actually used? Okay, so this problem says Memphis, Tennessee is due north of New Orleans, Louisiana. Find the distance between Memphis, and they tell us that that is at 35 degrees north latitude and New Orleans, which is 29 degrees north latitude. And then they also give us some information here that they say assume the radius of the Earth is 3,960 miles. Okay, so they gave us information. How does this apply to um, our context? Well, again, we're going to use S is equal to R theta. So why, why are we using uh, arc length? Well, if you imagine that this is the Earth here, okay, here's the Earth, whoop, and then they tell us the radius is 3,960 miles, right? So this is the, the center of the Earth, okay, here it is, here's the radius, and then they're telling you in the problem, right, that um, Memphis is due north of, Louise, of New Orleans. So here's Memphis. Memphis. Here is New Orleans. New Orleans. So what we need to find is, and they want they want the distance. What's the distance between these two cities? Okay, so what they want, let me find a, another color, is they want this distance right here. So what's this distance? Well, that happens to be arc length. Okay, so um, I know my radius, right? I can I can calculate this. I can plug in the radius. S is equal to the radius times theta. So the radius is three thousand nine hundred and sixty miles. Okay, but I don't know theta. What is theta? So we got to go ahead and calculate theta. Okay, so theta. is going to be this distance here. So what's that angle? Well, they tell you New Orleans is at 29 degrees and Memphis is at 35. So that angle is going to be 35 degrees minus 29 degrees. So 6 degrees. Okay, well, I can't use degrees, right, in my problem, so I have to convert. Now I'm going to convert to radians. So pi radians over 180, okay? And this gives us uh, pi over 30. Whoa, the lights went out. Weird. All right, and now I have the uh, angle. So theta is pi over 30, right? So I'll plug in pi over 30. Okay, and we can go ahead and calculate this. 3,960 pi over 30 which is approximately 414.7 miles. So this is a word problem. We're going to have to go ahead and answer in a sentence. So we can say Memphis 
is about 414.7 miles from New Orleans. All right, and there you have it. Okay, um, here is a practice problem for you. Same with context, okay? Same kind of, kind of idea. All right, pause the video and then I'll show you the solutions. All right, hopefully you have paused it. Here is the answer. And Charleston and Jacksonville are approximately 553 miles apart. Okay, that is it for arc length. Um, I hope you remember S equals R theta, and theta is in radians. That's key. All right, catch you next time. Peace out.